What's good with y'all, man? Y'all already know what's up, bro. So look, man. I don't don't you know what I mean? Don't come at me, you know what I'm saying, saying, Oh, what you doing? You know what I mean? Are you YouTube? Are you coming back to YouTube? Are you doing ASMR? I don't know. I'm just doing as I told, I'm doing as I'm led to do by the Lord. That's all I can tell y'all, you know what I mean? We lost a lot of supporters and you know, we gained some true ones. You know what? At the end of the day, it don't matter. I'm happy and fulfilled anyway because I'm saved and I'm, you know, I'm obedient to the Lord. So the numbers and whoever's unsubscribed and stuff don't bother me. But I'm just happy to address that we're losing uh, fake ones and gaining real ones. You feel me? I won't even say fake ones. I just, I just say that I, I don't blame them. You know, some people subscribe because, you know, for a certain reason. And when that reason is no longer being fulfilled, you know, they go elsewhere. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I won't even sit here and bash nobody. I'm just saying that God is just putting the ones that need to hear the message into this uh, community and the ones that rebel against the message and unsubscribe and don't want to hear the message. It's just the ones that just rebel. That's on them. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But man, the Lord led me to, to I was just reading Exodus, bro. I was just reading. And when I tell y'all, I read this, I, I, I read I read a certain passage. I'm talking about, it shook me and humbled me so much, bro. I had got the BGs. I ain't going to cut these. Like, I'm talking about, I was shook. Instantly, instantly got the repent. Like, this ain't for y'all to know, but I'm just saying, bro. This, it really humbled me. I'm talking about, this really humbled me, bro. Now, I'm not here to blow smoke. I'm not here to tell y'all no tall tale. I'm here to tell y'all the word. This is the word itself. And y'all go read the word yourself. Go read this by yourself. Go, go read. The, I'm reading the King James Version. You know what I'm saying? King James Version. The Bible. You know what I mean? Uh, So go read the words yourself. Don't go on my understanding. Go on y'all understanding. You know what I mean? Don't go on my understanding, go on y'all understanding. You know what I'm saying? Go build your own relationship with God and take this back to God and just see what you need to do if you fly this meant for you. You feel me? Uh, Look, so we finna go ahead and get a tour. It ain't finna do all day. Make sure y'all share this video with who y'all think y'all, for who y'all think they need to hear it. And that's it, bro. So listen, I'm just gonna read y'all this, bro. I might even read up some more. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna start right here. All right. So I'm gonna start at, uh, I'm going to read y'all this passage real quick. Exodus 12, 12. So look, as y'all know in Exodus, right? So the Lord actually hardened Pharaoh's heart, right? He hardened it. As If you read Exodus, you'll read that the Lord say, I will harden Pharaoh's heart. So even if Pharaoh wanted to soften his heart and let the people go, he couldn't because the Lord hardened his heart. So he didn't have a choice but to feel how he was feeling. That's a curse in his own. Why would the Lord do him like that? I ask, right? Or you might ask, right? But then you have to think. And I'm just, this is me talking to myself. This is not me trying to persuade y'all. This is me talking to myself. So I'm like, dang, bro, why would he do that? Maybe because he knew, first of all, Pharaoh, what he was doing to his people. You got to think what Pharaoh was doing to God people anyway. So that's probably why he hardened his heart. Because, hey, first of all, I'm not just going to come through here and send all these plagues and free my people. I got something else to do to you just because you got me messed up. They're my people. You got me messed up. So I think he put a curse on him and hardened his heart so that he didn't have a choice but to send 10 players to Pharaoh. So whether Pharaoh wanted to let his people go or not, at that time it was too late because he should have been done it. He should have been turned away from his evil a long time ago, but he didn't. And the Pharaoh kept saying, nah. So long story short, I feel like the Pharaoh reaped where he sowed. Because he couldn't have his heart softened. Therefore, the Lord, uh, he, re he reaped what he sowed because even if he wanted to let the people go, he couldn't. Because it was already a hold on his heart by the Lord that just wouldn't let him turn away from. He like, nah, it's too late now. Keep that same energy. You want to have a heart and heart and not let my people go in the first place? Keep that same energy when I come. So, he made Pharaoh keep that same energy. He made him keep that same energy. Whether he wanted to or not, he made him keep that same energy. He made his heart stay hard. He hardened his heart. Keep that same heart and heart when, when, when I come back for my people. And, I, and that's what I think the Lord did. So he made Pharaoh keep that same energy. He made his heart stay hard. So keep that same energy. And as your heart stay hard, I'm going to keep it there. And I'm going to make you go through these templates because you got me messed up, bro. That's how I'm saying it, right? So... 
I think this is the last play. It got to the last play, bro. That just really humbled me, right? So I'm going to read this real quick. It say, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. Again, all the gods of Egypt. Oh, I'm sorry. And against all the gods of Egypt. And I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. So hold on real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me read that one more time real quick. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. So uh, did he telling y'all something. Uh, he tell, he's saying a lot of things right here, right? He said, first of all, you got me messed up. Second of all, bro, do you not know how down and dirty I can get? Y'all think y'all, y'all think y'all just the only ones like, no. Now, let me show you something real quick. This is mine. He finished, he ended this, he ended the uh, sentence, he ended the uh, the phrase with this, right? He said, I am the Lord. I'm the Lord. Like, don't get, who you, who, who are you? This is me, this is mine. I'm the Lord. <laughs> you know how your daddy be like, I'm the parent. I'm the dad, you don't run me. He said, I'm the Lord. This is mine. All this is mine. And then he said this, right? He said, uh, he said, against all the gods of Egypt, against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. So all them guys that they think they serve, all them, all them guys that they think they serve, that they thought they were serving in Egypt, he said, let me show you what a real guy look like. The real guy gonna come serve judgment on y'all fake guys, y'all little guys. The guys y'all thought was guys, they really little boys though. Because let me show you what the real guy look like. Because I'm finna come throw judgment on them and they ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it. You feel me? So let me just show you. He said, uh, what did he say? And against all the guys. He said, look. He said, he said, look. Let me read it one more time. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the guys of Egypt. So he like, if your guys, he like, if them, if them guys in Egypt, Come stop this smite I'm about to put on y'all. He telling y'all what he said. I'm finna smite everything. Now tell y'all guys in Egypt to come do something about it. I am the Lord. Y'all, y'all keep playing with. I'm telling you, bro. The message is being brought to you. Y'all keep playing with the Lord, bro. That whole passage just got me right, bro. Like he talking about like. I will pass through the land of, of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn. If y'all don't know what smite all the firstborn mean, that means take out and wipe out and execute all of the kids in Egypt. Because he said Israel, he said Israel is his firstborn. Israel is his is his son, is his children, right? He said, if you kill and slay and hold my firstborn for me. I'm about to go do the same thing to you. That's a fact. It's in the Bible. Israel is God's firstborn. His children, right? And Pharaoh was enslaving them, killing them, beating them. God said, you slay my firstborn, I'm going to come slay your firstborn. And in Exodus 12, 12, he said, I will, he said, I will pass through Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and and be so he talking about animals too. He talking about everything in Egypt, everything that's on the land of Egypt that's living with, with, with flesh. He come to white clean out firstborn. Everything firstborn with flesh in Egypt, he come to white clean out. And against all the gods, so he said, I'm coming for y'all guys too. Since y'all don't, since y'all think y'all got guys out there, y'all think y'all that, y'all think y'all own that out there, y'all think y'all got guys out there. Well, I'm finna come for your guys too then. I'm finna wipe your I'm finna put I'm finna judge your guys too then. Since you think them little fake guys y'all serving out there really something, I'm about to come sh I'm about to come show y'all what the what the real guy look like. This goes to show, bro. The Lord gonna get fed up with, with a lot of folks, bro. He gonna get fed up with a lot of folks. Don't take for the Lord to have to send ten plagues to you to get you to soften your heart, bro. It shouldn't even get that far. Because one day, he going to tell you to keep that same energy. And when it all go down, 
he might make it to where you can't even go back on your word. He might he might make it go back to where you can't even soften your heart for him. It is what it is. And you don't know when it's going to go down, bro. So for y'all folks that's out there rejecting him, keep playing with him, not giving him no time, not doing what he say, not executing his word, not doing the works he told you to do. Because you can't, faith without works is dead. I don't care what nobody got to say. People say, oh, well, uh, you saved in the grace. No, if you saved for real, for real, and you got the Holy Spirit, first of all, the fire for God should increase rapidly. You should you gonna want you should want to serve God even more. You should you should want to ask God, what can I do to spread your gospel in your word? If you really had a Holy Spirit in your heart and you fully repented, the fire for God should automatically shoot up with no questions asked. It shouldn't even be no if ands or buts about that. You should the Holy Spirit should automatically like. Give you that fire for God to want to get out here and spread the gospel. It should happen naturally to help people. All that should come naturally anyway. It, it's like once you put God first and repentant and allow the Holy Spirit in you, everything else is going to be uh, going to be added into you. Everything else. The works, should, the works of helping people and stuff should, are, should be added because your heart changed. You have a heart of the Holy Spirit. You should want to see help everybody you see. You should want to pray for everybody you see. Uh... Praying should be a must. Reading the Bible, you know what I'm saying? That that should that should come along. Everything gonna be added into you. Facts. You know what I mean? So all these people that say, hey, you can say, oh, going to the club, all that stuff in the world, you shouldn't even want to do that no more. I'm talking about if you really don't receive the Holy Spirit, all this stuff should be should be slowly or if not fast at a rapid pace, fleshing out your life. Like you shouldn't even want to do that no more. I'm talking about if you really don't repent it and like can't and repent it to the Holy Spirit like cold turkey, like everything you got. You shouldn't, even, your heart shouldn't even want to do the old stuff you used to do anyway. So uh, for all the folks, and I'm not judging nobody, I'm just giving y'all my thoughts on this passage and what it led me to, uh, you know, the what I got out of it, and I'm led to spread. It, you know what I mean? Now look, y'all go read this y'all self, Exodus 12:12, 12, 12, and see what you get from it, and you take it to the Lord, and he going to tell you from there. I'm not God. I, I, You know, I'm just a messenger. Maybe it's not meant for you to get what I said, but it's meant for you to go to the Lord and ask him. And then it's meant for him to tell you something way different. But it changed, it changed your life. Or it changed the way you thought. Or it changed, or it's the answer to something you've been looking for. I don't know. I'm just led to do this. You feel me? But all y'all folks out there that's denying these messages, bro. First of all, look. It's not a coincidence that you are here watching this video, bro. It's not a coincidence that... I blew up overnight, and now I'm a man of God that quick at the being of this world. He literally what he he literally letting millions of people that's not seen my seen me and seen what I used to do. He turned me to a brand new person, just like he did Paul, just like he did Matthew, just like he did Job. Job was already a, a good servant, but Job went through the mud. I'm talking about everybody saw Job go through the dirt. Had everything stripped from him. And they saw him get brought back up again. God, you everybody saw how Moses couldn't talk for real. He he couldn't he was stuck, he couldn't talk for real. But God used Moses. The whole everybody, the whole Israel saw Moses, saw what God did with Moses. Moses didn't even think he was worthy. But the whole Israel saw Moses lead them back to the land, bro. The promised land of uh flowing with milk and honey of the Lord, bro. Everybody watch Moses do that, bro. So sometimes God might put you on that, put people in that limelight just to see, hey, look what I'm finna do with this person. Look what I'm finna do now. He didn't know me. He wasn't a man of the Lord for real, for real. He wasn't a man of Christ. I was always a man of God. He wasn't a man of Christ for real, for real. He, uh, he was worldly, flashing guns. Now look now, look what I did to him. Just like he did everybody else, bro. He put people in that limelight just to show y'all what he can do at any given moment to anybody. So it's not a coincidence that you're seeing this video, bro. Listen. If you don't listen, that's just on you. I don't care, bro. If you were if you rebel against these messages from the Lord, that's on you. That's on you. I'm not here to instill fear. I'm just here to be honest. Take this passage back to the Lord. Pray on it. Y'all go build your own relationship with God. I just I was here to bring y'all this message. What I got from it is humble yourself before the Lord, bro. All this stuff you see here is his. Facts.
It's another passage that I'm a, I might make a video on too. But this right here, right now, humble y'all self before the Lord, bro. He talking about, it's only so much he gonna let you do. You never know what plague you on. You might be on your ninth one. He sent that last plague or that last message to you and you deny it. And then it go down and you can't turn back to him. Hey, you can't say he, ain't, you can't say he ain't come through. I'm just saying. All y'all people that's talking about, oh, we lost another man to religion. We, you sound crazy, dog. I done been there and thought that way already. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. It ain't, ain't nothing new under the sun. Like, you ain't proving nothing with that, bro. Like, I don't. I'm not gaining nothing sitting here trying to blow smoke to y'all and lie to y'all. It, it's. I'm not. Ain't nobody benefiting from it. I'm wait. It's a waste of time. I'm gonna sit here and lie to y'all, bro. If I haven't met God, and seen what He did to me, and seen how He talked to me in His presence, I wouldn't be right here. He's God is real. He loves you, and He's doing the best He can to trying to beat it into your head. But you gotta listen. Exodus 12:12. 12, 12. Stop playing with the Lord. Humble yourself. Go read Exodus 12:12. 12, 12. And see what you get from it. In Jesus' name, get right, y'all.